up with it, y'all? It's EJLE Business. Welcome to the channel. All right, so this is what we're getting into right now. It's very important to me. It's important because I feel like this is something that I feel like this is something I should I should do. Why? Is because somebody told me about it. Like they see how um, I don't I forgot the person, but they were saying telling me how like they see so much stuff about um, I do with the EFF, and um, they were saying I need to check out this like because how there's like women are getting abused a lot in South Africa so he wanted me to check this out and I ended up finding a video and I'm gonna look this up um, before I start this I ended up looking it up I think it said 40% of women in South Africa will have been raped or will be raped 40% that sounds ridiculous I I don't know like that's what they said 40% you know I I I read it somewhere you know it said 40% but I highly doubt that hopefully you know anyways let's check this out all right this is the title is is South Africa the most dangerous place for a woman to live all right so let's go y'all one in three South African women will be raped at least once during their lifetimes. Where do I feel safe? I cannot, I cannot answer that. No way. You don't feel safe at home. I am so tired of being afraid all the time. As a South African woman, walking on the streets is not safe. A woman is murdered every three hours in South Africa. That's five times higher than the global average for femicide. And of those killed, there's a 56% chance that a woman will have been murdered by her own partner. I can be raped or someone can attack me on the road or in the house. No matter what your age or what it is that you're doing, you are potentially a victim of a sexual crime. You don't feel safe walking in the streets. You're not safe going to the post office. You're not safe going to the shopping mall. You want to go to the police station. Really? You're not safe going there. On August 24th, a 19-year-old college student, Uyinene Mukwekiana, disappeared in Cape Town, South Africa. A week later, a 42-year-old man was arrested and the terrible details emerged. Uyinene went to this post office around 1 p.m. on the day of her disappearance to pick up a package. The electricity at the post office was out, so an employee allegedly told her to return later. When she did, he locked her in the empty post office, raped her and bludgeoned her to death with a scale. He then loaded her into his car and dumped her body somewhere in Kailicha. The alleged murderer had previously been convicted of armed robbery and accused of rape in a case that was later withdrawn. Ui Nene's rape and murder... People that rape, people that rapists, child molesters, I hope they get what they're supposed to get and um, how they're locked up. Sorry, you know, um, that may sound harsh, but um, for women being murdered, like, you know, women being raped, especially children you know no i i i wish the worst on the people that did that especially if they did it on purpose and they knew what the hell they were doing you know all right anyways the all took place in a post office that is right next to a police station and this got women from around south africa taking to social media to ask am i next getting raped we are getting molested it doesn't matter how old you are by virtue of the fact that you're a woman you are literally next every time I'm alone and I see a man I wonder is is this is this today am I gonna die today am I gonna be raped today the South African Institute of Race Relations estimates that 40% of South African women are going to be raped at least once during their lifetimes Let's put that in context. In a classroom of 10 South African girls, four of them will be raped. South Africa has even been rated the least safe place in the world for solo women travelers in 2019. When you realize that how you dress, how you act or how you behave 
has no bearing on how many will treat you. Am I next? We, like we can't leave even our kids with our fathers, our, un our uncles, our brothers. Growing up, I never considered that my choice to have children would be based on whether they would be safe from rape. Uyinene was not the only woman killed in South Africa in August, which is ironically when Women's Month is celebrated in the country. But why? Well, South Africa already ranks amongst the most dangerous and violent countries in the world. A 2010 study conducted on 487 men in the province of Gauteng gave us some chilling answers about gender-based violence. Of all the men interviewed, more than one in three had raped a woman. Two-thirds of the rapists said it was because of sexual entitlement. In other words, they believed sex is owed to them. Other motivating factors were to punish women who rejected or angered them, or simply because they were bored. A lead researcher on the study said that rape was trivialized by a great number of men, and they just saw it as a legitimate activity, adding that only one in 25 instances of rape were reported to the police. Men who are abused were told- Wow. <clears throat> my mom said that. I was talking to my mom about this and she said that she said that like straight up what she said about men being arrested for it getting turned in said that it's so small oh my gosh traumatized as children were also much more likely to rape but what can be done to stop this epidemic Demonstrations have been organized around the country to protest against gender-based violence and to demand the government take action. South Africa's President Cyril Ramaphosa has declared a state of emergency and promised harsher penalties for rapists and murderers. But we asked a few South African women to tell us what they thought could change things. The call that goes out is to the men. When your friend makes that comment about that girl's skirt or how drunk he got and what he did, it is your job to call out that behavior. They must be killed. They mustn't go to jail. It's really up to men. I feel like it's about time that men step up. I feel like it's about time that men start having the, these conversations amongst themselves. M women need not to be butchered by their own, but they need to be shielded and em embraced and protected by South African men. It starts with the locker room talk. It starts with misogynistic comments that they don't even realize are misogynistic. We need government to take more action. The government is just not responding to gender-based violence. They continue to fail South African women. Let it stop! What do you guys have to say about it? I like the video, subscribe. Um, I think it's unfortunate. What do you guys have to say about it? Your opinion.